it because I need my beauty products. I think they should get here soon. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look right now at what we saw today. 95 degrees was a high out towards Brownsville. For those out towards Harlingen, around 96 degrees. Um, a normal around this time is around 95 degrees. We didn't get even close to the record. And for those out towards McAllen, hitting about that 98 degree mark. Again, not hitting the record. But it still felt very, very hot out there. Let's go ahead and take a look at satellite and radar right now as you continue to see uh, a few clouds here and there overall. But no moisture that what we're seeing actually build up. Very humid, though, when you walk outside. Wind's still coming in from the southeast. And they're going to gradually shift coming in from the southwest, kind of calming down. Right now, they're already just below 10 miles per hour in certain parts. And they're expected to drop just below 5 miles per hour overall. Peak wind gusts today, uh, not as breezy as what we saw yesterday, but McAllen uh, hitting about 24 miles per hour overall. And Futurecast is showing uh, we could see a spotty shower or two uh, due to the sea breeze. But other than that, it should remain mostly dry over the next few days. Over the night tonight, dropping to about 76 degrees by about 6 a.m. By noon tomorrow, hitting about that 91 degree mark. Overall tonight, expecting to stay within that mid-70 degree range. 76 degrees out towards La Jolla and McAllen. 75 in Westico and 75 degrees once you reach out towards Harlingen. Overall, over the next few days, though, it's still going to feel like it's just a bit hotter out there, even though we're going to stay around that mid to upper 90 degree mark. You're looking at your feel-like temperatures to stay around 105 to 110 degrees, depending on where you're at, except for about Friday. And I'm going to show you why, as we could see some of that uh, rain start to creep back in by the end of next week. Hot weather tips, we want to remind you, if you have pets, make sure they have some shade and give them plenty of water. Overall, tomorrow, though, we're expecting to move back back up into that mid 90 degree mark 97 degrees in Rancho Viejo 84 degrees out towards the island for those out towards Willacy County moving into that mid 90 degree mark out towards uh, Hidalgo County all the way up to close to 100 degrees especially when you move out towards Star County and this is where you're really going to feel it where our temperatures hit 102 once again overall another warm day across the valley for those heading out towards the island 84 degrees overall winds coming in from the east northeast around eight miles per hour and we're expecting a low rip current risk for tomorrow itself but tracking the tropics. This is what we're going to continue watching as we see a tropical wave developing uh, farther out uh, it, towards uh, Florida in between Florida and Cuba out there as that continues to make its way out towards the west moving into some of the warmer waters out towards the Gulf of Mexico. And right now not a clear track of where it's headed. We do know it's heading towards the Texas coast as of now. Uh, there is a possibility of it developing uh, but that's within the next five days, around a 20% chance of it actually developing into something strong. However, this could bring us some rain. Futurecast showing that as it gets closer and closer to the Rio Grande Valley and to the Texas coast itself, you're going to see the possibility of moisture starting to move back up, especially leading into Thursday and into Friday as well. As you can see, we could see some of that rain entering. Seven-day forecast for your weekend is always in view. It's again, sm small chance of rain out there over the next few days, but overall, our temperature should remain within that mid-90 degree mark, and that chance of rain starts to continue to increase from Thursday into Friday and Saturday and Sunday as it gets closer and closer to the Rio Grande Valley.